What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video. It's Elza Nito. Um, today we are going to be doing something very cool, right? We are going to be flowing with the design, but I mean, there's like an end goal in mind. <clears throat> so, we are going to be working with this image. We are going to be working with this image. And, you know, I have a concept in mind and why we are designing, you will see the concept. So, the, for our dimension, we are going to work with, <clears throat> for the width, we are going to work with 5,600. For the height, we will work with 5,000. And our color, ensure it is white. So, create. All right, you know what? Let's, let's extend it slightly. Let's extend it slightly. All right. So first thing first, you want to remove um, the background, right? You want to remove the background of this image. So I already did that. Like I have just the man waiting, then the receptionist. You can see I already removed that from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this into my design, my canvas. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller, right? Now. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to introduce like a background. But before I do that, um, let's just call this edit. Now, before I do that, let's zoom in here. We can just find a way to like cover up this side. And to do that, just there are several ways to do that. But the easiest way for me is just select one a part of it, Control J. Now there are different ways of doing this. You can you can take your tool and you know start, um, you know, like start um, double clicking, like do, making multiple elements of it, or you can just have one here, and then <laughs> the funny way of doing it, just stretch it. Now this is not advisable, but I mean I'm looking for the shortcut. I'm just taking the short way, um, short route. So, just um, we have this and we have the image. So then, select the two layers. That's all the first layer. Then hold down shift, all the second layer. Then right click, merge layers. Now you can see they are together. But you can see a form of line here. So to to remove that line, just take your. You can use your spot healing brush, and just brush around that line. And Hopefully that place goes, but you can see that I mean it didn't give us what we wanted. So what we can then do is you can use your patch tool. So just select your patch tool and just select that part that looks like there's a line there and then drag it to the nearest place you want to copy and finally we are done. And so we have this an amazing um, scene already. So first of all we want to Let's look for, I think I have one background, right? I have a background we can use. Yeah, this background. I kind of like this background, but it's not, I mean, it's not a wall. So what we can do is this, we can, okay. I mean, it can serve as a wallpaper wall. All right, what we can do is let's just, let's extend it. Let's just make it, you know, a little big, big. So the idea is just you know people going going to up or down you know so before you go you meet the receptionist and you know stuff like that but you get the bigger picture now you can see how awesome it looks like I just love this background it's sweet <laughs> so yeah we have this background right um, another thing I want to do is we, I mean it's not just going to be a background we need like it, we need it to feel like a texture. So to do that, let's just go to Unsplash, and I'm going to look for a wall texture. So wall texture, and we'll just download any wall texture we see that makes sense. Okay, this one here, you see this particular one, just download it. And um, yeah, we highlight to load. All right, so that's finished downloading. Let's go to Let's bring it into our folder. Now this folder, 
um this whatever everything we use here i'm going to like make it available via the link so you can you know also create yours so i'm going to drag this into here so um let's increase the size yeah so now what you want to do is i mean this is exactly what we need but we just want the texture and to add the texture you can either use over um, no no not overlay soft light or multiply but multiply is better you just make it a bit dimmer so but i mean don't worry yeah so we have that right now let's bring in let's bring up this a little bit because you see this part yeah we don't want it to lose this effect now this this particular mistake here is just select it and um hold down hold your patch tool and just patch around it just patch around it now if it's still giving you issues the best way to remove it is using your clone tool so select the area you want to clone now take your clone tool reduce the size hold down alt and select the um the the texture you want to clone so select it and just click then you can then clone it's as simple as that very simple all right then you can deselect and we are good to go yeah sweet so we have this man checking into now let's call it heaven is the goal because i want it to look like you know um where's my psd folder yeah so heaven is the goal now there's something that this the previous image has that i love but you know it's not in this yeah this particular effect so i think it's like um i don't know what it's called but i think it's like a bulb so let's go to our PNG wing and look for um, what's it called now? Bob. I don't. I'm not sure that's the name. Like, yeah, something like this. But I mean, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get something similar to what we are looking for. hanging um bob so let's call it hanging bob if we do not get the exact one we're looking for i mean we can just easily okay i mean we might be able to get something cool All right, this looks cool, but the bob is showing. Okay, David, don't spend too much time on this. Just pick one and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll just um, All right, let's download this first and see if this looks like what we need. Then we download this as well. All right, both has been downloaded, I guess, as it's. All right. We'll go to downloads and just drag it into our folder. I'm, the reason why I'm dragging it into this folder is so that when I'm going to like save it as a win as a um, as an archive and upload it. I mean it will have everything necessary for you guys to like replicate or you know follow along. Mm, for some reason it looks cool. Some reason it looks cool. That's it just Let's call this Bob. 
rasterize duplicate ctrl j i'm going to just ctrl j as well all right so um how is this mm. the bob does not match the 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 the, the, the image we use is a minimal but as um, exquisite um you know image so you need a minimal bob and not like a fancy um re renaissance kind of bob so this would work let's just cut it out i was trying to dodge this um, um you know stress but i guess we would have to just select ctrl j so just drag it into this one yeah something like this so excuse me all right all right so we'll call this uh bob ctrl j to duplicate then select the two ctrl j like that and so we have our bob yeah let's just leave the bob as it is ctrl g to group them and you can call them bob now that we have that so let's move forward let's save and move forward we can close this off now the next thing we want to do is this we are going to um, separate this man from the entire image right so to do that you just I'm going to use my either my polygonal lasso tool or any form of tool to just separate now the reason I'm selecting this part is because you know I mean you can see that he has shadow so we want to include his shadow to um to the selection all right so it's going to be a rough sketch but i mean so the reason i'm doing this is uh first of i want to like edit the man separate from separately from the background so i don't want anything to stop me right so we we'll just have this man like so yeah don't worry it's just a rough sketch and the reason why it is a rough sketch is because the background still has the characteristics so we do not necessarily have to be so perfect with it All right, so yeah, <clears throat> having selected that, we can Control J to have the image of the man standing alone, right? Now we have this man, man one. Now I want to have another copy of that man, All right? So let's duplicate Control J. We can call him man two so that man this second person would be at his back like so now he's going to be at his back <clears throat> like so and um yeah having this man at the back is <clears throat> it's just to add like you know it's going to be like a cue so but we i mean we are going to edit this person it's not going to be the same person we are going to use um like an african person so man two and for this man two i don't want him to have his hand sticking out here so we are just going to stylishly cut out this part of his hand delete so it's going to just be like his his hand is just you know the other hand is like at the other side and if you look at the image very well you want to ensure that <clears throat> 
there's a proper alignment. Look at the image. This stripe, you can see it's not aligning with it. So we want to properly align it. So just adjust it till it's properly aligned like so. Then it looks cool. So let's save our work. Now that's man two. Now we're going to bring in the third character who who will be in, like in the middle of them because it's going to be a queue and it's not going to be a queue that has like a lot of space so it's going to be like they are like squeezing their, their cells you know kind of and for that we will definitely need a lady so i have um a lady here that i've been able to like you know i downloaded the image also from free pick <clears throat> so i'm going to use um which one should I use? I'm going to use this. You know, we want to see our facial expression. So I'm going to use this. Now to do that, let's just um, cut off this one. Now all we want to just do is go to select subject and um, Yeah, AI has selected the subjects perfectly well. Did an amazing job. Not perfect, but an amazing job. So <clears throat> you can take your tool and you know add and subtract those parts that needs to be added and subtracted. Yeah, I mean just play around it. Let's check the face because this place exactly this place usually have I mean your photo manipulation you want to ensure that your image selection is near perfect and that's what makes your design look cool you might think i mean it's one small detail it might not show but to be honest those things actually matter and so you want to ensure like you know and that's why one of the best photo manipulation artists out there benny production you would hear that he spends for an average design he spends three to four hours on an average design and I'm thinking what am I doing with my life I don't even spend I mean sometimes I spend as much as that when the tax is very very you know huge and stuff um, sometimes I just don't have I don't know but definitely for photo manipulation the the more detailed you would be the more time you would spend on it for example in this tutorial video now I have skipped some part like the selection part so Imagine if I'm going to like record the whole thing, you will you'll be you'll be having a tutorial video of like two hours. Does it make sense? So now that we are done with the selection, just select and max. And press OK. So we already have this. Let's apply. Now there's something we want to do. You can see this shadow, right? I want that shadow. I love that shadow effect. So select this your padlock so that it can remove the padlock. Now we have this lady and we have this background. So just select the both layers and link them, link the layers. So click on link so that you can drag them together. Then take it into this design and bring it here. So I'm going to resize, hold down alt. I'm going to resize till I'm comfortable with where she is. I mean, she's a lady, so and from the look of things, she's. I mean, so we're going to just place her behind these guys here. Yeah, some somewhere like this. Yeah, somewhere like this exactly. Now, after placing her there, what you want to then do is this. For this layer, you can see this girl, you can see the way she is. Now this white layer, the only thing we need here is this shadow, this like this shade. And what we then do is this, we go to um, uh, stuff here and just go to multiply. Now if you turn it off, you can see the difference. And that's exactly what we need. But yeah, that's exactly what we need. Now for this girl, let's just call it a girl or let's call it woman okay girl. for this woman there are several ways to make her feel like she's part of this whole stuff but the best way is to the easiest way not the best but the easiest way is to go to your edit 
ensure your layer is selected go to your edit um, edit um, sorry your image adjustments and match color so we want to match color and for your source you choose everyone is the goal which is the like the canvas we are working on now for the layer you want to copy you want to copy the layer um, this layer one that's what we want to copy so you choose layer one now you can see that I mean it's dark but the color is almost matching so what we want to then do is this we want to increase the um, luminance fade it slightly Let's try our best to see what we can do. Oh, you know what? Let's not go through this route. Let's not go through this route. Now, unlink the layers. Let's go through the normal routes. Create, um, go to your adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. Right click, clip it to the lady. So, add a bit of contrast, just a little bit. Reduce the brightness slightly. What else do you want to add? Add um, some curves to it. Reduce the curves slightly. Yeah, something like this. All right. Um, I mean, it's still there's this orange vibe going on. So I'm not calling you Kotana. So for that orange vibe, we use um, photo filter. And you know this orange vibe just let's just choose the orange um, the warming effect just something slightly okay all right so yeah I mean we yeah this works this works this works we're still going to be adding our light and shadow, so don't worry. Now let's let's just quickly add our light and shadow. So for the lights, let's bring this up here. For the lights, create a new layer, call it light. Keep it to the lady. There's not even a light place. Just call. Let's change the shadow. Or shade now take your palette make it black select your brush increase the size now all these parts definitely would be black all these parts because there's a guy standing in front of her right then also at the back also surely this side Excuse me. All right, something like this. All right, so then we can apply. Let's use multiply, then we can then reduce this um, the shade. Just reduce the shade. Right, so when we turn it off, you can see the difference. And same with this man as well. Just create a new layer, call it shade, clip it to the man. Multiply, reduce, all right, so we have people coming in and stuff like that, so yeah, this looks cool, this looks very cool, this looks very, very cool, 
Now the next thing you want to do um, is to So guys, um, I'm back. So yeah, let's quickly just move forward. I had to quickly tidy up some things. So um, just bear with me. It's still, still looking a bit rough, right? I know we still have a lot of things to do as regards the design, but we'll take it one step at a time. So I want to first lay out everything just so that we have like something we are working with, right? Before we then start um, introducing you know color grading and the likes so first of this guy here because um we have two of the same person we are going to edit this guy now what we want to do is we're going to change the head to an african guy's head then we'll change the color tone and so yeah this tutorial is just to share like several ways of achieving a lot of things so um you might not necessarily be watching this tutorial because of the photo manipulation you might just need to get one particular thing about um, a design part of Photoshop. So select subject and would allow AI. All right, we'll allow AI to do his work. And um, yeah, then let's zoom in. What we need is just the head so we can just cut off this other part right so we just need this head then let's go to select and max all right now that we have it at select and max we can then increase this sure you are selecting your refined edge brush then just brush across the air parts all right you can see that now that yellow um, background has been removed so what i did here was you know just to remove any um any light color aside the dark air then you press your ok and we have the air standing on its own so we can drag in the head oh sorry you can see that it is currently <laughs> it has been attached to the clipping max so just release clipping max so this is the head oh my god this, this is huge so anyways this is the head we are going to reduce it to the size guess to the size we're looking for all right now that we have that reduced let's zoom in now the next thing let's just change this to edge now we are going to flip vertically so go to edit um, transform flip vertically sorry horizontally i keep making that mistake flip horizontally yeah horizontally vertically horizontal vertical i keep making that mistake so yeah, we have the guy looking up like, oh my god, I'm about to get my own judgment. So anyways, I'm going to just lay it here like this, right? And it's going to, let's just turn it off. This is this guy here, and I'm going to just cut off the edge of this guy. Not literally, like, you know, just design-wise. All right, delete. All right, now that we have that, let's um, add a bit of um, blur, you know, to this side. So just take your blur to and reduce the size and just blur that part slightly. Then turn on your head and um, bring it behind the layer of the man. And we have this. So you can blur this neck slightly as well. Then when we zoom out, you'll be able to tell if, okay, I guess the head size is perfect. It's not too big, it's not too small, but I mean, it's slightly, yeah, something like this works. We might have to like tilt his head a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Then we can push it forward slightly. Yeah, all right. Let's zoom in to be sure that we exactly so this is the adam sample 
And yeah. Now we can as well leave the hand as it is, but if you if you want to zoom in, someone will say that okay, it's not so brown like the guy's um face. So what we want to then do is we are going to select the hand. Just this part of the hand, we are going to select it. Now, now that you have selected it, just Control J to. Oh, sorry. This is Control J, and let's call this and, right? So bring it up here, so that this shape can affect just this guy's layer. So you can see that this and, if I drag it away from here, you can see it's standing on its own. So go back. Now, what we want to do is to apply, like edit, just edit the color. Um, of this and so the first thing we want to do is create a solid color and for the solid color we are going to choose you know a brown color yeah something like this now clip it to the end so go to your clipping marks and clip it to the end just like this now then go to um, look for the color that works best uh, I mean the effect that works best don't worry, let's just work with multiply. Let's see how it goes from there. Now, the next thing you want to do is bring in your brightness and contrast. You can increase, you can reduce the brightness, um, the contrast, then reduce the brightness slightly, just slightly. Now, there are various ways to achieve, um, like what you want to achieve, right? So, this is like a if, I, if you see me like change the face of someone from an African to a white person or from a white person to an African, most times this is the concept I use. I just go to my exposure as well, reduce the exposure slightly. And so when I zoom in, I mean, although you can see that there, there are cuts around there which will reduce blood too, but overall it's already looking like an African and and so what I'll just do is the hand, I'm just going to take my blow to and just blow that part of the hand, you know, just blow it like so. And yeah, we have a black man. All right, so we have a black man also waiting for his own, um, you know, whatever it is they are waiting for. So now that we have this, um, we are going to then, let's quickly bring in our elevator. First, let's just close this off. So um, the elevator, the elevator is um, going to be, I downloaded this image, this, um, file from free pick as well so i'm going to make it available for you as well all right so what i want to just do is to pick just this part of the elevator just um just cut it like so and um yeah nothing fancy just you know and ctrl j to select um, to like bring it out, I can bring it here. This is our elevator here. Yeah. yeah, so let's we are going to arrange them properly. So this is the elevator going to. We are going to have two set of elevators. So let's just bring one here. Control J. Then bring the order here. Then we are going to flip horizontally. Yeah. Now these two elevators, we are going to bring them behind the design, the image itself. Yeah, somewhere here. We are going to bring it behind the image like so. 
All right. First off, um, the next thing, first thing we want to do is we want to. I mean, it's too. The golden effect is too much, and you can. See, and the reason why it is like that is because it's actually a vector file, and this is just a JPEG version of the vector file. So, I mean, that's just why it is like that. But we are going to reduce the effect. First of all, just conf um, select the two layers, group them, call it elevator, duplicate it, turn off this one. I like ensuring that my I have a copy of anything I'm working on. So this is the elevator as one single image. Then we are going to add, um, we are going to click brightness and contrast. We are going to reduce the contrast and the brightness slightly, just slightly, but the contrast is going to go down. Uh, am I feeling this? I think the brightness should go a bit up. All right, yeah. So let's add a bit of shade just underneath um, at the bottom part of the elevator. So that it looks like as if it is, you know, um, like there's a form of um, like a demarcation. Yeah, something like this works. All right, so. So far, it's looking like, um, you know, it's, it's looking like an image that was actually shot. Yeah, so. All right, so. Um, Now that we have this, what else do we want to add? What else do I want to add before I start pushing? All right, so let's place like um, a, a like a like a kind of a design here that shows up and down right so go to PNG and we're going to call it a um, sign Not, I'm not seeing what I need to see. All right, so let's work with this. Let's work with this. Let's work with this. Okay. And is there a way we can get? Let's just see how it goes. So I'm going to open this as okay. You know what? Let's first drag it into Evan is a go. Compare both files. Drop both of them. And so let's open this as. On Photoshop, 
now I want to remove all these letters and text so just select fill content aware Right. and um, our signage will not be this um, it won't be this what's it called now that I think about it it's something we can create ourselves am I downloading stuff like this let's we can create it ourselves we don't need we don't need to So let's create a new layer. Create a new layer, call it signage. All right now, zoom in to this point. <coughs> now, take your rectangle to and draw your rectangle. Just draw something small like this. Let's, you know, yeah, something like this. All right, I'm going to place it in the middle. Let's make it white or, yeah, anyways, let's just make it a color. Yeah, this works. So I'm going to rasterize it because I don't want any vector file to start dragging my my design. So after rasterizing it, go to your blending option. Okay. Bevel. For your bevel, we are going to down up. No, no, no. Up down is better. So. So we're going to add some drop shadow for the distance will be too far and you know going to just yeah something like this for our color overlay we are going for this style all right let's say we are satisfied with something like this right let's just say we are satisfied with something like this and you know we can duplicate it and place it to the other side and then we can bring in our text and we can write even even All right, yeah. And you know what the next one is? Yep, definitely. All right, for our text, Our text the font is not cool so let's just work with um, clash display I like clash display it's a very bold font so we need something bold all right then we can duplicate and drag to the other end and this would be hell definitely
All right. So we are making the entrance to heaven and hell look like an exquisite kind of thing. You know, people go in just like you're entering an hotel, you're checking in, and you know, based on what you carry or based on who you are, you either checking up or down. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the concept. So, anyways, still changing people's head and stuff. This guy, I want this guy to be. Um, I want this guy to have someone's head, someone else's head. And um, who do we think we can use? Or we should just leave it like that. No, no, we should not leave it like that. <laughs> I don't want someone to come and drag me. That's okay. This guy is having um, dread or something. Who doesn't really matter, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to look for an image. Let's look for an image of um, um, so I'm just going to put alright so I just thought of something else. Instead of having like an image of somebody or like the head of someone I don't want to use someone's head. I want to use a bob just to give it you know a more a more um, abstract vibe right yeah something like that just to give it an abstract vibe so let's go straight to our bob drag it to everyone is the goal compare both files i don't know why it's telling me to replace probably because they both have the same name anyways okay still working open on Photoshop, first up, let's save our work. I mean, Photoshop has never, my Photoshop has never ever like, you know, tripped off, but it can't be too short. So flip vertically this time. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut the parts that are not necessary. Oh, wow, wow. Delete. Oh, we're going to bring this guy's edge. All right. So, I'm just going to test run it to see if it works. Yeah, it works. I like it. I mean, it's not like it's perfect, but I just like it. So, um, reduce the brightness as well. So, now that we have that, we can bring it behind. Okay. So, this guy, let's call this bulb edge. Select his head, delete Bob edge, drag it down behind. Just this is name edit. I don't know, I'm just calling it a different name. So, anyways, we are going to cut this off. Yeah, cut it off. 
the leads and we're going to turn on the lights we're going to place it behind the light like so now what we want to then do is this we are going to use we are going to use our liquify tool to give this bulb a form of a neck as well as to um, okay first off let's let's just um, reduce Yeah, something like this we're going to give it like a neck so to do that go to your filter liquify let's zoom in to our bulb I can't see my bulb again All right, so we're going to select um, forward warp, reduce the size, and then play with your warp tool. Just drag it down, like as if you want to create a form of um, a glue. You know this? You get what I'm saying? So, so yeah, just play with this. You know, bring it down, bring it down like that. See, you are trying to create jellyfish in SpongeBob. Um, by now, we already have a, a nice neck shape. So press OK, and you see that it will over. You can see now. So the next thing we want to do is we are going to um, let's adjust the the edge slightly. All right. So we are going to let's add. A bit of blow to the neck let's reduce that blow because the blow is a bit yeah, something like this then also we we'll apply that blow to the neck as well then we can still add we can just you know add a bit of smudge so it just you know, flows well so now that we are done we can then view it and say you see that okay there is someone with a bulb edge attended to people and stuff I'm thinking of something right <clears throat> I'm thinking of something I I think it's best we just change the theme of this thing and the reason why it's like that is the reason I'm thinking that way is I I would not want anyone to feel um, I mean it's my design though but it might it might not send the right message to people as to what this is saying like you know I'm, I'm feeling that way like okay probably should just make it a simple design but the theme i have in mind now or what probably i might change this to i don't know yet so well let's see what do we think um so anyways i think i'll just stick with that no problem i'll stick with it yeah i'll just stick with it so whatever the interpretation might be so let's add some bit of shadow to the um, to the floor let's zoom out slightly take our brush tool and just brush across
So let's um, copy our text. We're going to place our text So in this situation, some people are bringing in works. So, yeah, something like that. So not just works, we'll call it good works. Because, you know, there's a difference between works and there's a difference between good works. All right, I'm going to make it white. Then we are going to go to our blending option. Right. Yeah, good works. Press OK. Now we will apply it. We will apply um, multiply. So multiply would make it like look like it's actually part of um, like part of the. You get what I'm saying? So I think to properly arrange it, we can just G. G O Don't worry, we arrange it properly. G O So we have um, W O R yeah, something like this. Can duplicate it and place it here as well. But for this, we'll call this. No, let's just call it good works because the guy is smiling already and we don't want it looks like he's smiling already so anyways yeah um i downloaded a particular text effect and i'm going to use that text effect um yeah we're going to use it for like um the wall um, image. Um, this is it. I'm also going to share this with um, the link so that you know. For example, for you, probably you want to use it for something, you know, whatsoever it is. So change the font definitely. Replace. <clears throat> Let's change the font to Clash. Well, not class. Let's work with um, yeah, bold. So book of life. Let's reduce the size.
ओके सो आई जस्ट गोइंग टू ड्रैग दिस इन आई सेलेक्टेड समथिंग एल्स आई सेलेक्टेड समथिंग एल्स डिलीट आई गोइंग टू ड्रैग दिस इन I'm going to put it to the down path just behind. So let's see if we can put it behind the texture. Okay, behind the texture works. So book of life. Uh, Let's see what we can remove and add. No, I want that light effect to be there, but I want it reduced. Texture is good. I want the color to be better. Okay, let's leave the color like that. Yeah, for the drop shadow. Let's work on the drop shadow. So the distance will reduce the distance, as well as this will reduce the distance. So now that we have this, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a possibility of achieving something here, but I don't want to jinx it. You know what? If it's Let's see if we merge it, what would happen. All right, then we can add, let's um, reduce the brightness, increase the contrast. Let's add some color filter. No, where are you? Or let's just make it some solid color. Choose this color. Then you know, play with it. Yeah. Reduce slightly. All right. So this is the Book of Life uh, Hotel, <laughs> and um, yeah. We have um, all right. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's exactly the idea I have in mind. So it's still a pass for me. I'm going to close this. Just close this. So first, the next thing we want to do is we are going to blow out the images we have here. Let's just blow them. Oh, sorry. Let me just pause and blow. Just blow the edges like so. For this guy as well, just blow the edges.
so yeah let's still work on this lady this lady i feel she's still All right. So and we have something slightly okay. The bob, let's push the bob forward, you know, upward a little bit. Yeah, something like this. So yeah, um, I'm going to just put it in, put it you know on a hold here, you know, just stop there slightly. Okay, before we stop, let's add some a bit of um, shade around here, you know, just a little bit of shade. So creates um, shade, clip it to the wall. So we're going to you know just brush around the wall. So there's a form of, I don't know if you understand, but yeah. So it looks realistic. And it looks like pretty realistic. Um, can use multiply, reduce opacity, reduce fill. okay and as usual we want to you know what for this um signage right i'm having this um kind of i don't know this vibe that it's not looking too it's not looking too So let's use the badge. Then we can change the text. We can change this one to right one last thing let's draw a rectangle a uh, triangle sorry i said a rectangle triangle with same color and reduce the size can flip vertically and yeah so one is going up one is going down depending on what you if your name is in the book is this not saved
All right. And so finally, let's add some color, some color lookup. And don't forget, as usual, your signature L Zenito and L Zenito manipulation. I'm going to place it somewhere here. Yeah. All right, interesting. Okay. So finally, select the first layer, swipe to the down part, um, select the last layer, Control Shift Alt E to convert everything to a single image, and that image is what you're going to take to um, your camera or filter for the final form of edit. All right, so first off, want to, oh my God, that's too much. Want to add a bit of exposure, want to reduce the contrast drastically let's add some shade now just play around this so you know whatever works for you After doing that, um, we want to add some slight detail. Yeah. Some color noise reduction, just slightly. Now, there's this effect I love adding green. Just like uh, all this Mona Lisa painting stuff, but too much. If you see, it's too, if you had too much, it's, it's going to spoil the design, right? So you want to just add a little. You see the effect now. It has this grainy effect. I like it a lot. And so, this is where I'm going to stop. Yeah, creating this amazing masterpiece. Yeah, and that's basically it, guys. Um, if you love this tutorial video and um, so it's not boring, <laughs> please give me a like and share and subscribe. I'm I'm really trusting that I get to you know a thousand subscribers uh, by the end of this year. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, see you guys uh, next time.